lecture 1.7, we are now applying our understanding of what an element compound mixture um, is toward uh, chemical species, chemical symbols. We are taking the STEM models and now applying them to formulas. Okay, new uh, vocab word here, binary. We'll get to that shortly. So what we want to do is we want to uh, decipher and uh, part who are my compounds and elements and my mixtures at this point. Okay, let's start with element. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is look for elemental symbols for my periodic table. This is the classic mercury. So this is an element. Then I have neon. Great song by John Mayer. Then I also have bromide. And then we also will have, that's it. I see nobody else. Now, you might be saying bromide. How is that an element? Okay, well, it is the same element bonded to itself. So even if it's an element bonded to itself, you might say, well, it might be a compound. Well, we consider that to be, in New York State Region's vocabulary, to be an actual uh, element. Even, what, an element, by definition, if you remember, is, of course, the same uh, atoms bonded to each uh, same group of the same type of atoms and even if they're bonded to each other but still considered to be a group of the same type of atoms okay so there was those are our elements okay and in fact, while we're talking about um, that uh, element bonded to itself let's talk about other elements that are bonded to themselves as well this is called a diatomic diatomic element. These are elements that love to bond with themselves. We'll investigate why later in the course. Now I have a mnemonic or some kind of uh, way to, to remember these and I call these Hofbrinkles. Okay, Hofbrinkles. You'll see in a second why I call these Hofbrinkles. H2, O2, F2, Br2, I2, N2, Cl2. These are all the chemicals or all the atoms that love to bond with themselves. So Hofbrinkel is one way to remember your diatomics. Okay, and Br, of course, is, is, is right here, is one of the examples. Okay, so elements. Clearly we have our mercury in the liquid state, denoted by one chemical or one capital letter. Then we have neon, okay, in the gaseous state. And then we have bromide, Okay, bonded to itself in the liquid state. Those are my elements. Notice all one capital letter. Okay, compound. Let's go change my ink here. And let's go to, uh, I don't know. I don't think white's going to work. Let's go with green. So compound's going to have a chemical formula. Okay, that's not aqueous. So H2O liquid is a compound. Okay, a KOH looks like it has a be a compound too because it's a group of two or more different atoms chemically combined, but this aqueous means that that's mixed with water, and thus that, my friend, is not a compound. Those are two compounds, and that's a mixture. As NH3 gas, we have what? Two or more different capital letters of two more different atoms. Therefore, that's a compound. And here we have two or more different elements and that's also a compound. Notice the phase is solid. And NaCl liquid. Now some people have trouble with this. They think liquid must mean that NaCl is mixed with water. No, that's just a solid who has just been melted but still has the same chemical formula. Melting something does not break its chemical structure. It's a physical change. NaCl aqueous. Ooh, there's my mixture again. It's NaCl with water. And then we have potassium permanganate, KMnO4. Notice the three different capital letters, three different elements bonding together in a solid phase, okay? Okay, sorry about that. That was my two-year-old who ran in on me. Okay, so uh, we've got our compounds. So let's write them in. All right, so we've got our H, and I'm going to choose a different color so we can write this a little better. But um, we have our H2O liquid and the phases are important they really are because as you can see if you've got the aqueous that, that that makes sure that or at least denotes that that compound or it's not a compound it's a com it's a mixture because you've got a compound with water so you got to be careful with your phases mercury liquid uh no I, i'm sorry 
I'm all flustered here. That's an element. Okay, made a mistake. Uh, okay, now I'm over it. And now I have, uh, if I can just follow the green that I made for myself, it would be much easier. NH3 gas, NaCl solid, NaCl liquid, not NaCl aqueous, but K. M N O four solid. Okay, so those are my compounds. Now binary compounds. In the word, this is a new vocab word, but nothing too difficult to handle. Bi means you just have two different elements in your compound. As you know by your definition, a compound is made up of the same type of molecules, and molecules have the same chemical formula, based on two or more different atoms chemically combined. However, okay. Which of the following compounds, as we have listed here, is made up of just two different elements? Two different elements. Okay, well, let's go into some uh, colors here, and let's pick that green back again. So we have uh, hydrogen and oxygen. We have nitrogen and hydrogen sodium and chlorine. We can see that the first four okay, are binary because they have only two different elements. It does not matter, as you can see, whether or not uh, you have two, or, uh, two of the hydrogens and one of the oxygens. Binary just means two different capital letters, two different elements. I could care less about how much of each in each molecule as long as, of course, you have just two different elements. So if you notice sodium chloride is a one to one ratio, one Na to one chlorine, and then sodium chloride liquid also. But if you notice, I'm not picking potassium permanganate. That has not just one and two elements, but three different elements. That's called ternary, but we don't usually use that word, okay, in inorganic chemistry. So again, this is, oops, I got rid of my three there. Okay, oops, I want the, this back. So this is NH3. Okay, again, as I as I said before, it does not matter about how many. You have two hydrogens here and one oxygen. Here you have one N and three H's. Here you have one Na and one Cl. Different ratios, but what's the same with all of them is that there's just two different elements. Okay, and that's what a binary compound is. No big deal. All right, homogeneous mixture. Okay. And homogeneous mixture needs to leap at you at this point, okay? And where is my aqueous? Okay, where is my aqueous? And there's two of them there. Okay, that means a compound mixed with water. All right, and let's go see what we have here. We have KOH, potassium hydroxide, three different elements bonded together. And those are three capital letters, but the key here is that that aqueous. If it's a chemical that we're dealing with in lab or in class, uh, we're going to have aqueous to tell us that that's mixed with water, dissolved in water. Okay, and of course, NaCl, table salt mixed with water, give you salt water. Notice the AQ. Notice my sloppy AQ. Okay, moving on. I'll put that back in there. AQ. And my AQ is kind of weird, but there you go. Heterogeneous compound. All right, which one? Where's our heterogeneous compound? I'll give you a second to think about that one. All right, I gave you probably seven and a half seconds if you were counting. Um, well, my friends in chemistry, heterogeneous compound does not exist. Okay, fooled you. Ha, ha, ha. All right. Heterogeneous compound doesn't exist because all compounds are substances, and substances are pure because they're made up of a single entity, which, of course, in the case of compound, is the same molecule. So, therefore, if they made the same molecules, that does not make any sense. So, there is none. Okay, and if I didn't fool you, good job. If I did, sorry. Okay, so that's how uh, that's how we categorize them. And again, I'm looking for the elements, compounds, and now we have this new binary compound. All right, I'm going to let you continue on with the rest of this, and let's just do a couple together. Why not? Since I have it scrolled down, which the following is example of a binary compound. Oh well, I just want two different elements. I have one. I have an, uh, lithium is one element, oxygen is another, another capital letter. This has got three. This has one capital, 
another capital, another capital that says 3. Water is my binary compound because I just have two different elements. And potassium chlorate, which we'll learn these names later, has three different capitals. That's ternary. Which one's a homogeneous mixture? And what am I looking for? I'm looking for my aqueous. Okay, so pretty simple stuff there. Example of a heterogeneous mixture. That's the number four here. Well, table salt implies we have a compound. Sugar, C6, I'm going to draw glucose because I don't want to draw H, uh, C6H12O6, also a compound. Sand and water does not mix. Uh, and carbon dioxide does. And the ones that don't mix, but there's two things. There's your heterogeneous. Why? Because they don't dissolve, meaning that one place you'll have a lot of water. Boy, I don't know what's happening to my drawings today. So if you have a lot of water, let's just pretend this is all water here, a lot of sand, not evenly mixed. So that's a C. Let's go back and fill this in. This is a C. Okay. In any case, I'm going to stop there. And then you get the point. I would like you to continue on, and we will check on uh, Wednesday, see how, you, how well you did. By the way, these are all past regions problems. Okay. So this is something that will be on a Regents later on in, the, uh, in your uh, career here in, in June. But uh, you should have no problem since we've covered this. Okay? Enjoy the rest of your weekend.